Take us out. All right, we're here with Nathan Gorman uh, with Tommy Dove's uh, press conference to announce the Crystal Palace show. Uh, Nathan, how's it going? Very well, you know. Uh, good yourself? Lovely, thanks. Good. So coming face to face with Dominic for the first time, um, how would you see it going? Good, you know, uh, Dominic, experienced fella. Probably my toughest fight to date. Um, he's coming off a loss. I'm taking out with a pinch of salt. He says in the press conference today he's training as hard as ever, and I hope he is. You know, I hope he brings it April the 1st because then people see what I'm made of. We've just spoken to him just now and obviously he's uh, saying that he's he's going to be the victor on the night and he's training hard as is yeah, exactly. expected. Um, how, do you, how do you see him overcoming, overcoming him? There's no doubt in my mind I can't beat Dominic at the end of the day. I wouldn't be here otherwise. And I imagine he's got that same mentality. We're fighters in the day. If you ain't got that mentality, you shouldn't be doing boxing. You know, a fight the norm for me. I'm just looking forward to April the first, getting in there and do what I do best. And um, for viewers watching on Seconds Out, can they? Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I started boxing young age. I didn't take it seriously till about 16. So I had four years of progressing. I won the ABAs, got in the Great Britain squad. And as the time I was training on the Great Britain squad, I got a chance to work with Ricky. And at the end of the day, to get a chance to work with a legend such as Ricky Atten, took it with both hands. Ricky liked what he's seen in me, he offered me a contract. And we're here today, you know, I'm about eight fights unbeaten with seven knockouts under Ricky's wing. And it's going good, you know, and hopefully there's a big future for me and Rick together working together. What would you say, what are your strengths and uh, if you let's say your weaknesses, uh, what do you bring into the fight against? Akin Lardy. Well, what I'm bringing into Akin Lardy, you know, uh, eight fights, seven knockouts. So you know, I got power. I know I got power. I'm also fast, my size, good mover. I, I rate myself very, very highly. You know what I mean? Um, as I said before, I wouldn't have took this fight if I thought I wasn't ready. I believe I'm ready now, and I believe it's my time. You know, to get in there amongst the big names. You mentioned in the press conference you come from a famous bloodline as yeah, well. Yeah. So if you can expand on that. Well, my uncle Bartley, you know, former king of the gypsies, um, wrote, a, wrote a, a book, probably mm. half, a, half of England's probably read the book, you know, some, some good stories in there, so I've come off the fighting stock, I've got the pedigree behind me, so, you know, that blood runs through my veins and there's, there's no surrender in me, mate, you know what I mean, I won't lie down. And uh, finally, if you can make a prediction for the night, if you can. Uh, a win, a definite win, but, you know, it could be a knockout. But a win's a win's in my eyes, you know, if, if, if I land clean on him, it will definitely, I don't care who, who you are, if I land clean, you go and sleep. Lovely. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you.